What's going on everyone and welcome back to Jair's Free Running. My name is Jeremy, I do free running, and that's why it's called Jair's Free Running. For this video, we're going to be doing my first ever tutorial. Wow! I wasn't originally going to do one of these, but subscriber David Mick left a comment on a video a while back saying that he liked my Arabians and asked me to do a tutorial on them. And I'm always open to suggestions, so here you go David, hope you like it. Now this is the Arabian flip, not to be confused with the Russian pump flip, nor the All-American burger flip. So let's get into learning how to do one of my favorite tricks. Now first things first, prerequisites, i.e. the skills and tricks you want to know before even attempting the Arabian. For this move, I'd recommend you learn a backflip, but most importantly, I recommend you know how to front flip. So midway through filming the tutorial, some kids overran the playground. Irresponsible parents. Who lets their kids play on a playground? Anyway, so we're going to continue the tutorial from here. So, as I was saying, prerequisites. Definitely front flip, maybe back flip. The reason I say maybe backflip is because a lot of people find the Arabian less scary than the backflip and easier to commit to, mainly because at no point in the Arabian are you going fully upside down while being backwards. But that being said, it can be very helpful to know how to backflip because the set is very close to that of the Arabians. Although, if you don't know how to do it, we can still work our way around that. Front flip, however, is not something you should skip before trying to learn the Arabian. From the tuck to the finish, it's nearly identical to the front flip, and it makes it vital for learning this trick. Not to mention, the front flip is most likely one of, if not the first flip you'll know how to do, and you should definitely have some aerial awareness of flipping before trying to learn a half twist with a flip. Another trick slash skill to learn that's not necessary but could be very helpful is a standing front flip. Now, the reason I say this is because if you have the technique and ability to do a standing front flip without you know, blocking or running and getting all that momentum, then it shows me that you have the technique down well enough that the Arabian shouldn't be that hard of a move for you. However, again, like with the back flip, it's not absolutely necessary. Now that you know the prerequisites of this move, let's get into the technique of the Arabian. The Arabian starts the position and set of a backflip, with your arms starting behind you and swinging up into the air in synchronization with your legs jumping off the ground. From there, the 180 degree rotation will start with your arms and head and finish with your legs as they start to tuck preparing for the flip. Now, unlike most twisting variations, the Arabian's twist does not occur simultaneously with the flip. Instead, the twist happens first, and after, the flip is initiated. After the 180 degree rotation is finished, the rest is just as simple as a front flip. You should swing your arms back downward, tuck in tight, either having your hands grab your shins or underneath your quads like me, and then spot your landing and untuck. Now that's just the basic technique of the Arabian, but now let's get into some tips and things to focus on to improve the technique and also the understanding of this flip. Having a good backflip will aid you in mastering the set of the Arabian. However, if you don't know how to backflip, don't sweat it, we'll go over the parts you need to know now. The set of the Arabian, or any standing flip for that matter, is going to determine the height you get. So if you're looking to get more height on your flips, then look to improve your set. Here are some tips to note in order to have the most successful set. So, starting with your arms behind you, it's important to ensure that you complete the swing all the way up as far as they can go. It's okay if your arms bend out the elbows, so long as you continue the swing as this will provide extra lift. Only after swinging your arms up will you begin to turn them in addition to your head and rest of your body into the direction of your rotation. It's important to note that this is more of an up and around motion as opposed to being directly sideways. 
you can think of it as grabbing a heavy hammer, lifting it over your head, and then slamming it on the ground on the other side as hard as you can. It doesn't take much to complete the 180, so this motion lends itself more toward the flipping rotation, which we'll talk about when discussing the tuck. Another tip for improving your set is to make sure that your chest is open throughout the set. The chest area is where your center of rotation will be, so opening it up will ensure you set yourself up for the highest possible flip. This is a closed chest. This is an open chest. Closed. Open. Closed. Open. This next tip also has to do with your chest, but instead of opening it up, it's to make sure that your chest starts above your knees as opposed to behind them in a sitting position before the takeoff. This will ensure you jump straight up instead of wasting that height moving backwards. The last tips I could give you for your set is to make sure that you fully extend your legs on the jump and jump from your toes. These tips might sound fairly obvious at first, but they're commonly neglected when first learning new flips. I've made these mistakes before, and here you can even see my brother learning his first backflip and not fully extending his legs while jumping. This generally happens because when we first attempt a new flip, we tend to want to tuck into it as soon as possible in order to complete it as fast as we can. However, cheating into the tuck before you complete your set just lowers your flip. Now, he has enough leg strength and power in his jump in order to complete the flip here, but if you're looking to maximize efficiency and height, then you're gonna wanna fully extend those legs. Now what's great about all these tips for the set is that they can all be applied and practiced before committing to the full flip. Just practice jumping as high as you can while applying these tips and the technique that I've told you. Now let's move on to some tips for improving the tucking technique of the Arabian. The tuck of a flip is going to dictate how fast you flip vertically while in the air. A tight tuck can be a good substitute for height, as the faster you complete the flip, the higher from the ground you'll land. In fact, it creates the illusion almost that you get more height on your flip than you actually do. However, the tuck of the flip is also where it gets a little scarier, because there isn't much you can do to practice these tips without fully committing to the Arabian. However, most of these tips are pretty straightforward and much like a front flip, giving you another reason just to learn that before trying this. Now that being said, make sure when you're trying this trick that you're doing it in as safe an environment as possible. Ideally, you'd want to be in a gym with a foam pit and then maybe some pads. Or, if you're like me, you can just try it on grass. I know most of us do. Honestly, with this trick, so long as you fully commit, there's not a lot that can go wrong that will lead to serious injury. Probably just a sore butt from landing on it a few times. So, without further ado, here are my most important tucking tips. As said with the tips on the set of the Arabian, the arm motion lends itself to the rotation of the flip. So, it's important that you make sure to throw your arms back downward as fast as you can when grabbing your legs for the tuck. Doing this quickly and very snappy will lead to a faster flip. In addition to throwing your arms down quickly, you want to crunch your legs in as fast as possible for the tuck. Next, make sure you tuck hard. Tuck as much as you can and then double that. The closer you can get your knees to your chest, the faster you'll flip. This can be made more effective by flexing your abs and making yourself as ball-like as possible. Now I know I said you can't really practice the flipping rotation of the Arabian without fully committing to the flip. However, here are some exercises you can do to practice getting a nice solid tuck. The Squidward Future Crunches. Cannonball to fake cannonball. And most importantly, just applying all these tips to your normal front flip. Now it's important to emphasize the explosiveness on these exercises, as you want to practice getting in a quick and snappy tight tuck because that's what is gonna help you get a fast flip. So that being said, let's move on to the final part, the spotting and landing. Now at this point as a flip, there isn't really a lot you can do, really anything you can do, to get higher or flip faster. That being said though, it is important to spot 
your landing and untuck so that you land softly and cleanly. Being able to untuck and spot your landing becomes even more important once you start incorporating this trick on different obstacles and in different lines. Now, on your first few attempts and lands of this trick, it's a good chance that you're probably not going to be flipping really high or really fast and you might land really low to the ground. I mean, it took me some time even before I got my Arabians as clean as they are now and I'd still like to work on them a lot more. However, that being said, a good way to ensure that you just get enough rotation to land is to sometimes hold in that tuck a little bit longer. As we said before, the tuck of the flip dictates that vertical rotation. So if you're holding it a little bit longer, then it could just give you that just extra bit of flip that you need in order to land on your feet. In addition to that tip, it's very important to have the right mindset when doing a new flip, even if it's not the Arabian, even if it's just a completely new trick in general. With this mindset, what often happens is when doing the flip, you untuck really early and try to spread out your body because you want to make sure that if you land not on your feet, that you're protecting yourself and that you're not going to slam on the ground. However, doing this, again, untucking too early and trying to prep for failure really just makes you not land the trick when otherwise you could have. So while the solution to this problem is basically the same as the last one, which is just hold on to your tuck longer, the answer is more in a change of mindset, which is from prepping for failure to knowing you're gonna land this trick, or if not, you're gonna give it all you got. Applying this tip in my mindset has really helped me for a lot of new flips, not just the Arabian itself. Now, when it finally does come down to untucking, you really wanna make sure that you do it well. So, when you're untucking, aim to land on the balls of your feet. That's gonna make your land as soft as possible, and you wanna make sure you absorb the impact as best as you can. Ideally, you would wanna have your legs almost straight, but not stiff-legged on each of your flips landings. That's basically the, the golden standard. However, at first, it's probably not gonna look like that. Again, my Arabians don't even look like that now. Still working on getting them better, but that's just gonna take time and practice. And one final tip on spotting, it may be useful to you for front flip variations like the Arabian to turn your head to one side or the other as with front flip variations your legs are in the way of your line of sight to the ground so it might make it easier to spot your landing by turning your head to one side or the other. I do this sometimes. I try to avoid doing it just because I don't like how it looks. However, it's completely up to you and what I could recommend is practicing doing that if you're having trouble spotting your landing and then once you get comfortable with the move then you can train yourself to keep looking straight down. So after taking in and applying all these tips hopefully you've landed your first Arabian. Congratulations it's one of my favorite tricks. Honestly thank you guys so much for watching. I spent a lot of time on this tutorial so I'd appreciate it if you like it. Unless you didn't like it then don't like it I guess. If you have any suggestions for future free running videos, please leave them in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions and I'll take every single one of them into consideration. And while you're doing that, might as well give me your opinion on this tutorial. Was it good? Bad? Absolute waste of time? I hope not, but fair is fair, so just let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.